My name is William Hawk Birdsett. I am from the Standing Rock and Ogallala Lakota tribes in North Dakota, South Dakota, and I'm also enrolled of the Cheyenne and Arapaho tribes of Oklahoma and Montana. I come from a long history of indigenous revolutionaries, and that's who we are. We're going to bring change to this world that we live in and bring awareness to who we are, because everything that's learned in history isn't written by us. It's written by the oppressors. That's why we're sharing this story. And that's why I'm here right now at the museum. And in London, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's like, it's like my people are on display. And it seems like very disrespectful. Uh, it's dishonoring, you know, my people. It's just, it's despicable, it's disgusting. But what's really disgusting is our sacred pipes being displayed on this, you know, on, it's, like these pipes are my people's like connection to the spirit world, you know? This is, these are who we are, like these pipes. Like my grandmother, I was raised with the pipes, the pipe stems, everything has a story, everything has a purpose, you know? And it doesn't say that in this, it doesn't give you that information. This is all a lie. It's a lie to, to, to make people feel comfortable about taking somebody's belief and then just throwing it out there for everybody. It's, it's sickening. It's like a zoo. You go to a zoo and you see these things and it's like, oh, wow, you know. Cheyenne, Arapaho, Lakota, you know, and then of course we're related to the Nakota Dakota, which is also in my blood. Uh, the Hidatsa, Mandan, and the Rikara, they're, they're, they're like in close relation to the Lakota and Dakota and Nakota as well because we're all so, uh, you know, in, in this space, and we all shared the hunting grounds. We all shared the history of this land and the culture of this land and the, and the spiritual idea and the spiritual foundation of this land. Even in the films that you see today that kind of depict Native, Native American culture and, and, and even historic films like of like Crazy Horse and Sitting Bull and Rain in the Face, you know, all these different chiefs, even that's, even that's all distorted. None of that's true. If you really studied history and actually spent time with the Lakota people and understood who we are, you know, we're a very respectful people and respect life. Our history was written by us. So what makes it that anything in here could be correct? You know what I mean? No, that's, it's just, dude, everything is a lie. Especially in museums, especially whenever you're talking about somebody's history that wasn't written by their own people. We're about life and death and living, but once death is complete, even over time, something's gonna decay. It goes back to the earth. And that's, that's just how we are. Why preserve something for thousands of years? You know, let it go back to the earth. That's an animal, let's let that animal go back to mother earth. You know, I wanna go back to the earth whenever I die. I don't wanna be embalmed and thrown in a box and thrown in the ground, not at all, no. What's really interesting is that J.P. Morgan Chase is actually one of the main companies that destroys indigenous lands and indigenous reservations and territories in the Americas. They fund a lot of the pipeline companies, they fund a lot of the gas industry, and for them to like, you know, put their name on, on, who, on my people, for them to put their name on my culture, put their name on my spirituality, is, it's, it's, a, it's a shame, it's, it's sick. Because J.P. Morgan Chase was one of the main funders of Dakota Access Pipeline and Standing Rock, where I stood up, where my people stood up, and we, and we put up a fight, yet they still back that company. They still back the company, and then they have something like this. It's a close relationship, and I think it's a long-term relationship as well. Like, they have a um, really big plaque kind of etched yeah, up onto the wall. Yeah, I did see that plaque. Like, that's interesting for yeah, them to do. Like... Yeah. The UK, like, we don't have a lot of, like, massive, Ex, like fossil fuel extraction projects or mineral, mineral extraction projects on our land, on our territory. We have the banks, we have the finance. So like the UK is behind a huge amount of destruction in North America and around the world. But it's invisible because it's done by the banks. Well, it's kind of like, so, uh, so can we get that message out there? Yeah. Like, I want to work with you guys. You guys are like an amazing crew and you guys do so much work that's really not getting it's not, it's not getting the, uh, the attention that it should be getting. Like what nerve 
You know, you invaded our territories, you stolen and Aboriginal, Indigenous lands, Indigenous territories, yet you're going to come and then we're going to say, oh yeah, well, look what we're doing for you. It's sick. Yeah. I don't even want to look. I don't want to look at it. So there's another, like, horrendous introduction from BP about this. Oh, God. As fellow explorers of the ocean deep. Yeah, they're exploring for, yeah. for, for coal and, and oil. Yeah. It'd be no surprise that we feel a strong affinity with maritime archaeologists. <laughs> So many animals die every day just because of that company. Yeah, still. The last stand, they call it. <laughs> I don't know if a gall is in here. Gall was one of his main guys. Gall is my great, yeah, there he is. I'm named after his, his sister's son, William Hawk. Oh. So that's, that's, you know, very close rela yeah. r relative there. I mean, was and were are, are, are the lie. We're still here and we're still fighting for our rights. I mean, like, just like this is an example, a prime example. The people of the Northwest did not need agricultural to develop complex uh, societies, their ability to preserve and store food, you know, not a lot. They made beautiful boxes and dishes. No, we still do. We still do this. I see BP's logo and name on everything here especially in our, in these native exhibition, exhibits. And it's, it's, it's really just a slap in the face to my people. These coastal tribes right here are all suffering simply because BP and the other, or these other gas industries and these other corporations are destroying their lands. Yet they are gonna perpetrate themselves as these like saviors and we're, per we're preserving, you know, you're really just killing off an entire race of people. Yeah. So why do you think that oil companies and these banks that are funding oil companies, you know, why, why do you think they, they, they choose to sponsor these banks? It's for their image. Because at some point, you know, they're, at some point the world's going to say, oh shit, look at this, look what they're doing. Look what, these, look what these companies are doing to these indigenous peoples. And then they're going to say, no, 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 it's not like that. We look at, we've been preserving this culture. We're preserving their heritage. We're preserving who they are. So that's why I think that they're doing this. You know, they're not saving who we are. Who we are is right here. This is our history, and it's, and it's beautiful, and it's great. But we can preserve it just as well. We have museums that we can put all of our artifacts in. We have, you know, these spaces that that we can put these in. But a lot of these artifacts are actually stolen. What's good about an oil company saving art? There are other there are alternatives. And it's up to this, the, the, the museum curator and, the, and the, the museum board to actually come down and make those decisions.